and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Thanks a lot for clicking on my video today. I really appreciate your time and attention very much. So if you enjoy my videos, please take the time to subscribe to my YouTube channel today. You do have to set up a YouTube account and have an email address and such, but it's worth it because your subscribing to my YouTube channel helps the continued production of these free videos right here on YouTube, free, 24-7, all year long. So subscribe right now. Okay, so today is just a really quick tips video. I want to answer the question that I get quite frequently. It's a very simple question. Can I screen print onto la um, laundered garments or, uh, you know, washed garments? Like, say, I want to screen print something on this pair of jeans that I'm wearing right now, which I've worn many times and washed and washed, right? And one day I decide I'm going to print a dragon down the leg or something like this, okay? Um, or somebody has a, a favorite t-shirt that they've had for years and they've washed it and worn it a million times. And they ask you, can you print a name on the back or can you screen print on a laundered t-shirt? And the answer to this is specifically related to Plastisol inks because I don't think I've ever tried this with water-based. But I know for a fact that I've done it with Plastisol. And the answer to the question is, yes, you can screen print onto pre-laundered or used clothing. The problem is that you're never sure of two things. There's two things to be concerned about when you print on clothing that has been worn and washed many times before you get to print on it. And the first thing is that Plastisol ink will sometimes have trouble bonding to fabric that has been laundered. And the reason why is because that most of the laundry detergents that you use today are designed to leave a residual coating of anti-staining chemicals on the fabric. I believe in the chemical industry for, for laundry detergents, they actually call them axions, which is, ac it, axion is a subatomic particle, I believe, but they, uh, the laundry chemical industry took the term axion and applied it to laundry detergent, and there are these, there are these chemicals or molecules or whatever of the soap that will bond to the fabric and prevent further staining. Okay, so it means that they help prevent stains in the future. So sometimes Plastisol ink can have difficulty bonding to fabric that has been laundered with laundry detergents. If it was rinsed with water, that's different. But if it's laundered with laundry detergents, that could be an issue and you would really want to do some testing to be sure. But, you know, obviously in that case, it might be a one-off scenario, so you might not be able to test. The second thing to be concerned about with printing pre-worn and pre-used or pre-laundered garments is that when you put it through the belt dryer, a lot of the times the heat in the belt dryer will cause stains to magically emerge, especially on white t-shirts. So you could have a t-shirt that looks pretty clean, white, you know, it looks like it's been worn and laundered a few times, but it's still white, you know, it still looks white and it still looks decent. As soon as you put it through the oven, you know, different stains might appear in different places. It's possible, it doesn't always happen, but it's possible that it can happen, that the heat will actually, for some reason, all of a sudden, you know, the infrared heat, I don't know what it is because it's not like it happens in your laundry dryer, right? Maybe it's the temperature, the high excessive heat that Plastisol ink needs. You know, 330 degrees Fahrenheit, it's gotta be higher than your laundry dryer, right? So maybe that's what it is. And so sometimes the stains will magically appear on the garments after they go through the belt dryer. So those are the two major concerns that you have to worry about if someone asks you to screen print Plastisol ink on used garments or laundered garments. I hope you enjoyed today's quick tip screen printing video and please remember that if you like my videos make sure to subscribe and if you need screen printing equipment or supplies check out my offerings at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>